Hey guys, this is the second part of the series, Check for Beginners. And today we are going to again talk about reading and pronunciation of some vowels and consonants and some combination of those two. Last time we talked about these vowels, A O E, and their long variants, A O E. And also we talked about these consonants, K, R, Y, and C. Today, we're going to include three more consonants and two more vowels. Let's start with the consonants. D, T, N. D, T, N. These three consonants are special because they can change into D, T, N, D, T, N. So in writing, you change this consonant by adding this little hook on top of the letter and in Czech, it's actually called uh, háček, which really means a little hook. And in pronouncing, what you need to do is to change the position of your tongue. So when this, when pronouncing d, t, n, the tip of your tongue is actually touching your palate. However, when you pronounce d, t, n, the part that is touching, the part of your tongue that is touching the palate is near the center. So you need to press the middle of your tongue against your palate for a little moment and then let it go. Alright, good. Let's use it in some words. So we have d at the beginning, long a following it, and the rest is easy, yeah? So let's try to read that. How would you say it? Diabel, and it means the devil. Okay, so how about this one? That is soft t and hard t. Let's try it. Kotyata, kittens. And the last one would be with ny at the end. All right, let's try. Dlaň. And it's the palm. Okay, so let's include the vowels. And today it's going to be E. And it's long form E. And E. And it's long form E. And I'm guessing that you noticed that they have the same sound. There are two letters with one sound. Now, why is that? There is a very simple logic behind that. And it's actually related to those d t n sounds. Now the rule is that if one of those consonants, d t n, is followed by this one, which is in Czech called tvrdé, tvrdé i, which means hard i, nothing happens. So you could say, for example, deem. And it, by the way, it means smoke. However, if one of these three consonants is followed by this one, which is called nike i, meaning soft i, then the consonant changes into its soft variant. For example, this one is pronounced diki. And you see that there is no hook over this d, but it is pronounced j because it is followed by nyeke i. And yike means thanks. So that goes for all three consonants, d, t, n. And uh, for example, this word pronounced stani, because there is this tvrde i at the end, and it means tense. However, this word would be pronounced with soft ny, denik, because there is this nyeke i. And it means a diary. And some words with t and t would be, for example, rt, meaning lips. And uh, again, it's pronounced t because there is tvrde i following it. However, this is pronounced kosti, kosti, because there is nyeke i following. Okay, 
and it means bones. Okay, so what we have to remember now is that dtn are pronounced dtn if there is this hook above them, like this. And the same pronunciation is used if these consonants are followed by nike i. That would be dtn ni. However, if they are followed by tvrde i, it would be pronounced dtn which means that the sound doesn't change. And of course, nike and tvrde i have short and long variant. Okay, so uh, I am sure you know what's going to happen now. We're going to play our favorite game. I will give you a word and five seconds to read it. And then I will read it and I will tell you what it means. And let's check how good you are at applying those rules that we've talked about. All right, ready? Let's play. Divadlo. Divadlo. And it's a theater. Steeny. Steeny. And that means shadows. Sneet. Sneet. To dream. Seat. Seat. And it's a web or net. Camaradi. Camaradi. And these are friends. Hollandiani. Hollandiani. And it means uh, the Dutch, like the Dutch people. Dynamit. Dynamit. And I guess that we don't have to translate that. Sne. Sne. And these are dreams. Vinikaitsi. Vinikaitsi. And that means outstanding. Chameleoni. Chameleoni. And that's chameleons. Perfect. Again, I'm sure that you've done a great job. And again, let me summarize the rules for you before we finish here. Dtn are pronounced dtn if there is this little hook above them. Or if it is followed by nike i, which is this one. For example, in the words diki kosti snit. However, dtn is pronounced dtn if it is followed by tvrde i, which is this one. For example, in the words dim rti stani. Other consonants do not change whether they are followed by tvrde i or by nike i. All right, so thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I definitely did. Have a great day and I will see you in the next part of the series. Check for beginners.